With uh, gene editing techniques like CRISPR-Cas, it now is possible to very efficiently introduce a desired trait into a population that we are currently breeding for. These can be variants that are coming from another population or e even from another species. So in, in, in practice, these can be natural mutations, which could happen in our population, but of course, uh, given the size of the population, we would never find them if we wouldn't be able to directly introduce them into the population we like to uh, improve. Gene editing with CRISPR-Cas can also contribute to animal welfare. And a very good example is the Bolt variant in cattle. Uh, this is a variant uh, of a gene that's found in beef cattle. And, uh, however, this particular variant is not found in the Holstein breed. And that's a breed that is being used worldwide for milk production. And the common practice at the moment is uh, for young calves uh, to get uh, dehorned. If you now uh, would change the population and introduce this particular variant, then dehorning is no longer uh, needed, which is of course a big improvement to the welfare of cattle. Another uh, good example where gene editing can have a big impact is in preventing viral diseases. Uh, one example, for instance, is the PERS virus. This is a viral infection of pigs that has a very big impact uh, in, in the pig industry. And uh, groups in, in the UK already changed a gene which resulted in the pigs no, no longer being able to get infected by this particular virus. Another uh, good example is the African swine fever uh, virus. An African swine fever is a disease that, that currently very rapidly is spreading in Asia and China. And also here, some groups are trying to change a gene that would confer, hopefully, a resistance to this particular virus. I expect that gene editing with CRISPR-Cas will play an important role in animal breeding in the future, in particular in traits that are caused by one or maybe just a few genes. However, for most traits we are interested in in animal breeding, they are not just caused by one particular variant, they are caused by hundreds, um, sometimes even thousands, of variants throughout the genome. So editing all these will be very difficult uh, at the moment. Also, we have to realize we are not interested in just changing one individual. No, we want to change the population. We want to change hundreds of individuals. So um, just having a few individuals changed and edited uh, will not do what we want to do in the end to improve a certain trait. At Wageningen University and Research, we think that a dialogue with the general public and society is very important, in particular for uh, subjects like gene editing in animals. And that's also why we have initiated and are in involved in a project that specifically addresses these questions.